Where do you live? I'm, what part of Florida? Sarasota. No kidding. When did you move there? I moved there about almost two years ago. What made you decide to do that? I can see myself getting arrested if I was in California. Really? Oh, California. People so got so... Dis- I love California. Don't take me wrong. I think California is the best state in the world. And I travel eight months of the year. I love California. But the people over there, man, they just get on your face. It's like this, like this. It's my right to be here, okay? What are you going to do about it? It's like, dude, it's my right to knock your teeth out. <laughs> oh, my God, this violent, call the cops, arrest him. It's like, <laughs> people was like, disrespectful. Got to a point you got disrespectful. It got weird, right? It's it's uh, it's hard, and I and I love. Don't take me wrong. I totally again. I can't say enough the how climate, much I love California. It's, it's the only place where you could be in the ocean and then in the mountains in an hour, and on the desert. Yeah, and in the desert, you can yeah. surf, ski, and spend the night in the desert on the, the same day. The climate is beautiful, and a lot of great people there too. But they've lost their fucking minds. But the people that they're there, man, it's like in in so. Ah, uh, dis- to me, it's just disrespectful. Yeah, disrespectful, and they've sort of uh, they've emboldened a lot of really stupid people to act like idiots. Yeah, you know, and and just the whole the way they're dealing with the homeless situation is fucking insane. You know, they've 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 lost twenty four billion dollars that they can't account for. That was <coughs> does, does, is that is that what the story is? There was some controversy about twenty-four billion dollars missing that they were that's allocated towards the homeless crisis. So yeah, so I just I was in the on the on the trip and I called my son. I was like, "Dude, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out." So all the kids are grown. So everybody's different location. Yeah. So how'd you pick <clears throat> Florida? So here it is. California spent $24 billion tackling homelessness over five years, but didn't track if the money was helping the state's growing number of unhoused people. (laughs) So they spent $24 billion and they can't can't figure out what the fuck it did. God. It's ridiculous. And it's it's not getting better at all. It's getting worse. Every time I go back there, I'm like, oh, God, it's worse. And I only go back like once a year now. I go back once a year. I I love it. I hope. It gets better. I would love to move back, but it's not going to get better. Yeah, it's I not have gonna hope. Get better I have for a hope. long time. It's gonna. It's I, gonna take generations. I used to joke with people and say I'm front line of resistance, <laughs> but yeah, he got to a point. It's like man, nah, yeah, it's too out of control. Well, it's also crazy <coughs> things are happening. Like a guy got arrested because someone broke into his house and he shot the guy, and they arrested him. Like. Okay, you you can't even defend yourself in your own home. Like, what is the fucking point? What's the point of the Second Amendment? What's yeah. the point of having a firearm? Isn't it to protect your family? Are we are we supposed to assume that someone who's willing to break into your home violently that that person's not going to harm you? You got to call the police. How long is the police going to take to get there? What if you have a family? What if you have children? What if you have a wife? You're supposed to just let this person break into your house. You can't do anything about it. It's yep. insane because That's they I, they're yeah. hiring the most insane <clears throat> district attorneys and they're they're making it easier and easier for people to get out of jail who've committed violent crimes. I mean, they've lost their fucking minds. And I don't know how it comes back other than <clears throat> they have to get some hardcore Republican governor who starts cleaning things up and just cuts back on all the waste and cuts back on all the bullshit and just puts their foot down. It's going to take a long time, a but long I have hope, time. but I have hope. Well, that's beautiful. I kind of. <laughs> I got hope. time. I got plenty of time. I'm not I going hope, anywhere. <laughs> I hope that you're right, but I don't have that much hope. I just see the they're they're <clears throat> indoctrinated into this liberal ideology, and they just believe that this is the only way to to think and behave. And until it bites them in the ass, I've I've met a lot of people there that I knew that were really hardcore liberals who've now completely turned around and now they're Republican and now they've moved out, they moved to Tennessee, they moved to Florida, they moved to Texas and they're like, no, 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 I see where this is going. But then it's like, I sometimes I keep thinking, what's the end game? What's the goal for the people that are doing this? Well, the real question more, is who's more, funding More it? power? It's not even necessarily more power. I mean, more the real money. Do you see? It's like, what's the end? What's yeah. the goal? It's very confusing. But I think uh, generally there are people 
genuinely there are people that are funding this that want to see Western society collapse. Like my daughter was going to school in the uh, University of Vermont. Beautiful over there. But she already had it. She's moving to Tampa now. Really? She's like, to be closer to us. It's like, so people doing all these protests mm -hmm. against American army. Yeah. Against, it's like, she's like, we have a son, one of my sons is in the army. And she's like, no. So she put an army shirt, sweatshirt, and walk right through the protest. <laughs> And other girls would come over and give her looks, and and she would just look at them, and people would go, "Yeah, it's a, 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 um, silence is violence." <laughs> flip them the finger. It's like, yeah. talk about that for violence. <laughs> silence is violence is one of yeah. the dumbest fucking things. <laughs> silence is not violence. <laughs> violence is violence. If you say silence is violence, you've never seen violence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless someone's being quiet while they're beating the fuck out of you. <laughs> 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 silence is just silence it's not violence violence yeah. is violence you fucking idiots it's like my god so she, yeah. like, she had her over there she spent one year and she's like man I can't put up with this anymore the teacher was talking trash about she's like I didn't pay to hear the teacher give and the her political opinion. beliefs yeah. yeah so she would get up and leave class and it's like yeah. she's like I had it she's I'm done I'm moving I was like alright let's go Thank you.